and welcome back. Uh, you're still watching Perspective, and we're talking to Aaron Fishman. Oh, God. I'm getting old. <laughs> uh, uh, Bali cashew. What's so special about Bali cashew? I mean, you're talking about cashews in Entebbe, for example. Actually, oh, Indonesian cashews, not Bali. Yeah. Indonesia. I mean, I we're called East Bali cashews because that's where our factory is, but Indonesian, right. ca Indonesian cashews are fantastic. They're some of the world's best quality cashew nuts. Uh, you should work for the government. <laughs> no, I should work for a cashew company <laughs> located why, in Indonesia. Why, why is it? Why is it special? I mean, what's the difference? Um, the the color is great. The flavor is great. Incredibly color. Color, yeah. It's white. It's not yellow. It doesn't have black spots. It's oh. it's white. It looks it looks great. Um, it's uh, it's very nice in flavor. It's sweet. It's milky. Um, it's a it's a really really great product, and it's a shame that most of Indonesia's cashews go to India and Vietnam and get mm. mixed, mixed with 30 yeah. other countries' cashew nuts and just into a big pile. So right. people don't get to taste the true Indonesian cashew nut. Right. And mm, guide me through the process. The internet, you buy the cashews; they're all is it already in package, dried out, or so. How we how buy them? Well, before we came, we used to buy them just straight, uh, straight yeah, undried. Yeah. And now we've trained people how to dry them. So we buy them in 50 kilo bags from from our drying centers, mm -hmm. um, and we receive them in. And then it's actually the process is a little bit long. It's a three day long process of steaming, drying, cutting. You steam them. You thing? have to steam them to pasteurize and soften the shell. The shell has a poisonous right. liquid inside. Oh. Uh, that has to be steamed and then oh, cut. Oh, you mean that the, they're selling you still in the shell? Still in the shell, yeah. Ah, exactly, I see. Yeah. So that, that shell then gets steamed and then cut off, and then it gets dried again, then it gets peeled, then it gets dried, and then it gets flavored, and then oh it gets God. packaged. Um, but uh, the way that we do it, you'll, you'll eat that nut after about three days of being opened. Whereas the way you've done it previously, when you buy a, a typical commodity cashew right. out of a, a bag at the corner store, that nut could have been sitting around for a year, a year and a half, two years, because right. it's shifted. It's gone from Indonesia to India, and India to Singapore, to Singapore to wherever, and then back to Indonesia. Um, and so it's not as fresh as it should be. So a lot of people don't even know what a fresh cashew nut tastes like. So when they taste our cashew nuts, I'm not nuts, sure they, I do either. Hmm? It's just, just well, like whether it's... We're sending you a couple. <laughs> Don't worry. <laughs> <laughs> Good, but uh, in in terms of uh, in terms of area or location, you said Entebbe. You said Entebbe, uh, Entebbe, Entebbe, yeah. Entebbe, yeah. They're all dry grounds. So exactly. Yeah. It's the same. It's the same like environment. In same exactly. Same. What we say is uh, good for cashew nuts, bad for people. So very, very, <laughs> very dry. Um, and and the drier, the better it is for the nuts. And and if you if you ever go there and then develop it, it will be in. Along the same line, or I yeah. are there any particular uh, no, trait that 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 uh, regions would have, for example? No, I mean it's it's pretty. Uh, most of Basically. Indonesian soil is is pretty similar. So volcanic, uh, right. sandy soil, you know. Uh, right. Out. Yeah, I remember like in Antete, you have cashew, you have mango as well. Yeah. It's uh, must be dry, yeah. really dry territory. What? What challenges are you facing here in, uh, in terms of, I don't know, marketing, yeah, uh, transportation? Yeah, I mean, good question. Uh, of course, infrastructure is always a challenge for us. Right, um, that's for everybody. A real challenge for us. <laughs> I'm right. sure for everybody too, but it's a big <laughs> challenge. That's a challenge for us. Additionally, um, uh, distribution is always a challenge. Trying to, if we're trying to export, we have to find a distributor that understands our product, right. understands the retail outlets, right. understand the consumers. So, and we're a young company, we're a new company, so right. we don't have those existing relationships yet. So that's a challenge. So we love to find distributors who want to sell our product. Um, additionally, is um, you know just growth. I mean, uh, every time we double. We have to pull in a lot more people, right. train them up. But um, aren't there like 12,000, uh, 12, I mean, 1,200 or 12,000 people? In the village, 12,000. Yeah. You still have to train them up. So they've never right. processed cashews in their life before. So you have to take them all from nothing and, and train them all the way up, um, and including management as well. You need to bring in right. people to work on the machines, people to work on the electronics, people right. to do all that kind of stuff. Machinery-wise, for example. Machinery-wise, we use Sri Lankan machinery and Vietnamese machinery to process the cashew nuts. Right. And they're, Fairly complex machines, um, so uh, yeah, it's uh, you got to bring all that talent in as well. Right, and in terms of like uh, uh, distributing the product, yeah. So in Bali, we do all of our own distribution, and you then do your own distribution. All 100 percent okay. of our own, yeah. And then in other areas, we find distributors to to distribute our product, and they're you know existing distributors who might do some specialty food products like chocolate or coffee mm. or or nacho chips. That's or what I was going. to Other industry customers. Uh, there are, uh, yes. Yeah, so, for example, they, do, they go for the raw one. Uh, for the yeah. So, for example, mango chocolate. You ever had mango chocolate? 
Yes. Yeah, so the, those nice the bars. Jokata yeah, chocolate. the joke jacquard. So they use our uh, split cashew nuts inside of their, their chocolate. Uh, cashew flavored right. chocolate. Um, ice creams will use it, uh, the bits, uh, mm -hmm. cashew milk uh, places, uh, cafes, hotels will use the pieces to blend. Um, there's a lot of hotels that use it for... for do, do you cater to those specific Yeah, absolutely, yeah. Anyone who needs cashews, we provide cashews. Wow. <laughs> you can buy one, one pack or one ton or ten tons. Like, for example, if I order, I yeah, well, you can do that? Well, we haven't set up an online system yet, but the easiest way is to go yeah, to our should, website. You should, you should. You we should, are working. Should. I believe uh, Lazada is going to uh, stock our products. Okay. Lazada.co.id will, yeah. will stock our products. So you can we'll talk to us right. not long ago. Yeah. <laughs> awesome. <laughs> so, okay. Uh, thank you very much for sharing. Thank you. Uh, we got a perspective on cashews. I love cashews. I hate peanuts, you said? I, I like it. <laughs> no, not me. Uh, anyway, I hope the conversation was interesting for you. It was, uh, yeah. it was certainly for me. Uh, thank you very much. Thank you. And see you guys later. Bye-bye.